my name is Lucas Galdino and today I'm going to talk about uh, research or neuroscience research and small animals with virtual reality. So I'm going to talk in detail the, the, the device is created by the company called Phenosys Technology for Behavior Analysis. The first device developed by the Phenosys is a jet ball TFT. This is a behavior apparatus based on virtual reality. Here we can see a screen or a TFT surrounding monitor system with 2070 grouse over around the animal's head. So it can be used to electrophysiological recordings in mice and mouse, and it can assess behavior or brain functions during uh, decision making processes. So here, uh, by default, it, it is commonly used with a T maze. A T maze is a is a, a, a apparatus used to access decision making and geolocalization cells or uh, or cells on hippocampus using electrophysiological data. Uh, so here you can see the screen surrounding the place in which the animals stay during the experiment. And in this video, we can see in details how JetBall TFT works. One second. So, the animals had... So... The animal's head is fixed here in this sphere and accessing the motor pattern to exploring the environment, we can create a maze or environmental or diverse types of environments here. If you can see the screens, uh, the screen shows exactly the motor pattern used by the animal to explore the virtual reality screen shot here. So here we can see another system developed by uh, Phenosis, which is a jet about dome. It is exactly the same way in the, with the animal state here, but in this case, we can use a dome to access different types of apparatus or behavior types of mazes uses in these small animals. So besides that, uh, they have developed another device which is called Servo Ball. Servo Ball uh, minimizes the effects of stress, which we can see in this device, this device is used to fit the animal into the sphere. In this case, the animal can walk free here above the sphere here. And in this case, we can use exactly the same maze or exactly the same virtual reality systems to access behavior, decision making, memory, or diverse types of analysis regarding the brain functions. Uh, besides that, they have created another device which is called Seedbelt. A Seedbelt is a linear treadmill designed for a standalone application or for the integration with a chatbot virtual reality systems. It is particularly compacted to a low to easy combination with electrophysiologic advanced and imagines, uh, as well as optogenetic models. In other words, a treadmill is used to access uh, model patterns regarding the different animal models and it can be used just for accessing the behavioral patterns or to access electrophysiological uh, as well. Another type of device developed by Phenosys is the KOMR, which is an optimal response. This is the unit system that automatically measures the OMR, which is optimal response with a minimal experimental effort. As we can see in this video, just a minute, the animal is placed inside the box. So, 
as you can see here, the animal is placed in, the, in, in a small platform inside the box. And each screen in the box and on the top is exhibit different patterns but regarding the visual contracts sensitivity function. And it is measured when animal responses with motor responses uh, by optomotor stimulation. So here is shown the tracking or the animal tracking. And here in blue, we can see the images showered in each side of the box. So, in details, this kind of device investigation various aspects of vision in mice and other rodents, such as visual acuity, contrast sensitivity, spectral sensitivity, or temporal sensitivity. Here you can see a scan showing how the KOMR works. Uh, in the fourth screen is showing different visual stimuli. And here you can see in details what is uh, contrast visual, visual sensitivity. A CSV uh, is a, is a, is a psycho, psychophysical response regarding the regarding different stimuli used to access visual functions. So as it is not allowed to access uh, behavior responses um, by cognition, here you can use an optimal responses to different visual stimuli. By the time that animals does not respond with motor response, uh, we can we can uh, conclude that animal doesn't sound the, the the stimuli, sound in a different side of the box. So here in this image, we can see the camera, the photo uh, taken by the camera, and here you can see the heat map used to to measure the tracking or the annual tracking. So today's video is ending. Uh, here in the description below, we can see our contact and that's it.